Daniel's Music Foundation presents a Just Call Me By My Name artist. Meet Yolanta Mamakatsina from New York, New York. My name is Iolanta Mamakazina and I am a singer. Music means a lot to me because whenever I'm sad and whenever I just want to sing and get my emotions out, I feel like I could tell the world and the world can understand me through music. When I'm singing, I feel extraordinary. If the crowd likes it, I like it. And I feel free and I just feel like I can express my own feelings in the song. I started playing piano when I was four, and that's how I mastered my pitch and my rhythm. After piano, I started singing. At first, I thought that it was gonna be difficult since I couldn't see what the person was doing and how he was teaching. Sometimes my opera teacher would show me how to sing and how to open my mouth out of position, and it was pretty hard, but I overcame it. This is her talent, this is her discipline, this is hard work, um, this is my pressure, my husband pressure, because like we uh, pushed her. My point, make her life independent for everything. It is difficult when people underestimate me. One thing I wish people would stop doing is trying to help me when I don't need help. I appreciate their assistance, but sometimes we don't need help unless we ask for it. The things I wish people would start doing is ask me about what I go through so that they have a better understanding of my life and so that they could share with other people what I go through. When new kids come in and like, oh, you're blind and not interesting because like think like she is not interesting because not you know like she can um, play together she can talk about uh, some games but just when Lana starts singing all kids are shocked because nobody can do same like she it took me about five years to learn how to read in braille the way I learned music without being able to read it in a traditional way, I just listened to the singer and the artist. I could pick up the melody pretty quickly. All I need to learn is the lyrics that I can write down it in braille, and I'm good to go. When she sit down for the piano and start very fast play, Vision Kids stand said, oh my goodness, she never do it wrong, but she's blind, why? Joining a label for musicians with disabilities is important to me because I want to show the world that just because you're blind and disabled doesn't mean you can't follow your passion. I feel very excited and a little bit nervous, but I feel mostly excited and I can't wait to connect with the crowd. The song that I included in the EP is O Mio Babino Caro. I chose uh, that song because it has a lot of love and passion in it. When Iolanta is nine months old, we have um, diagnosis for cancer, retinoblastoma, 
this is for both I, both Rutina. After first chemistry, uh, she back blind. My friend called me and first strong said, Katarina, you read opera, Iolanta by Tchaikovsky. I never read, I never know about this story. She said, this is opera about blind princess. You need to change your name, her name. It's relatable to my story, how she became blind and how she found her true love, the prince that helped her get her sight back. And the reason why I want to sing that aria is because I feel like singing gives me a lot of hope and I like that about singing. I believe for a Disney story, I believe for a miracle. It's real doctors coming, make the operation and Yolanta start vision again. Visit danielsmusic.org slash record label to learn more, stream, or download today. Daniels Music Foundation, changing lives through music since 2006.